Well, and so that's one of the one of the topics. I've been in the building. I have. Yeah. It's a feature. It's yeah. A it's feature. A feature. It's a feature. And so when it was built in 1933, and prior to that, you know, the African Americans were in the basement, served in the basement at the General Knoxville General Hospital. Okay. Knoxville General Hospital. Oh, for long yeah, I mean, it was back there. I'm gonna so, the, so the African Americans were treated in the basement of Knoxville General before this one was this, built. This was built, yeah. As the African American Hospital. Yeah, the wing. Wow. And, uh, as the uh, wing, okay. So, I have pictures here of what, we'll go around the corner. So, and we'll come back. I don't know if I lost the camera. I'm going to talk to you guys about it. That was me. Me making sure my doors are locked. Now on video. Oh. Uh, so I have a funny story about one of my. So I have a funny real estate story. I'm the real estate agent in this. Right. So I had this doctor I worked for for a long time. Notice all these new buildings. So I have this doctor that I worked for for a long time, and he bought some land and he subdivided it into many farms. This is probably 20 years ago. And he was real funny, and he was all, all the time giving me, like, a hard time. Like, he was funny. And so we had this one buyer. I'll give you an example. We had this one buyer, and the guy had, like, this wonderful hair, and he nicknamed him Elvis. <laughs> he was like, bring me that offer from Elvis. Well, so he divides this land, and we have to come downtown to the health department to get the soil test. Oh which is called a perk test. Mm. And he had been giving me trouble all day long. I mean, he was really like laying it on heavy. So we come down here. I'm, a, I'm gonna say a word on here. That's fine. Uh, it, it's we, YouTube, we it don't matter. Down here. We, we, don't, we don't go by the FCC rules. Okay, so we come down here and we stop and there's like somewhere in here, there's this round kiosk where you get directions. And he walks up and he says, Excuse me, sir, where do we go to get the, a perk test? And I yell as loud as I can, you son of a bitch, if you've given me the perk, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There's my language. <laughs> <laughs> it got really embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> I, I embarrass myself. Uh, was this, uh, before that building was built, was this residential or was this a farm? How far back do we go? You're, you're kind of out. I mean, there's Because when you, we went to another section over here a while back, and you said that this was farmland, and then it was subdivided, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the building, what you're looking at right here, we're on Dameron, and so that's... The health department was this side, and the Lincoln Memorial hospital was this side are we looking from yeah the other we're direction? looking this way no we're looking oh, this way okay uh i don't know which well if knox general's on that side we're looking from this direction okay. so there's that mm. this building right here is the lincoln memorial there's a better picture of it when you and say lincoln memorial university yeah oh. lmu oh, 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 oh and so and that I would have been over there over there oh and so then this is a better picture of that building hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And then for some reason, I have two of these. No, it's just a better, just a different. I mean, so this foundation wall was part of. Yeah. That, in fact, that, and now it's just a parking lot. That looks newer to me. That foundation wall. But it could be. Could be. I mean, that's. It's that's confusing to me. That looks like newer wall. Okay, so let me see here. So see this cupola right here? See that? Mm -hmm. I think, so that's the front of the building. I think. This yeah, is that. that. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I think what I'm looking at, I, you know, the front of this building may have looked the same as similar to the back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It may be hard to tell because mm. that looks more towards the front. There's this walkover here and I'm thinking that walkover 
I can't, I don't quite have the, yeah. So I think if I'm standing this way, that walkover is coming to the LMU. Like there used to be a walkover. Over, over there. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these streets have the same names as today as they did. Yeah, Damron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is, this is Damron. Some of, some of the streets have changed. Yeah. Right? So I told you, you know, like I, I gave you the real turn in the story. I like these pictures because you've got cars and you've got horses. Mm. And so early ambulances would have been horses. Uh -huh. So one of the things, like imagine like you have to go stay in there with no air conditioner and mm. you got brought there with a horse. So you're already to the, Yeah, I mean, this was built in 33, so you're right. probably coming in a car or walking, but like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think this building necessarily had air conditioner right, either. So. Right. When, when was this building built, Nine, you know? All of the Knox, I think 1902. So oh, early really? 1900s, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I have some, since we're, we'll go up here on the corner because there's another building up here that I think I need to Somewhere on one of these streets in like 73, I've got it sitting on my desk. I should have brought it today. We were, I, we were in line on a Saturday to get some immunization and channel 10 come up and ask me, well, what do you think about uh, getting an immunization on Saturday? I said, I'm missing my cartoons. That's all I said. <laughs> Cute. That's when you didn't have Cartoon Network. You could only watch cartoons on Saturday. So I don't know what side of the street I was on. Who knows? I might have got shot in the, the old, that old building. Who knows? So before Knoxville General, there was a strong home hospital, which was a private home with eight rooms on the Cumberland on the corner of Cumberland and State downtown. Hmm. So this was a big deal. I mean, this is like the main hospital for quite a while, and then the other hospitals, Baptist. I'm sorry, St. Mary's was 1930. Wow. But, but you're, you're saying that Knoxville didn't have a hospital for 100 years? Strong Home Hospital is what was serving people like an eight bed hospital yeah, room. That's not that, I mean. Yeah. They didn't have a big, this is the first big. And you said 1902. 1902. But Knoxville was founded in what, 1798 or something? 91. Nice. Yeah. 91? So, Strong Home Hospital apparently opened in 1877. Okay, well, that's still a, a long, time. long time. Yeah. So, all, all the doctors just traveled by a horse to go treat people at their home, right? Yeah. Or not. Or, or not. not. Yeah. I mean, it's primitive. I mean, I'm talking about, like, showing up at a building like the one in the picture on a horse and go at, being sick mm -hmm. with no air conditioner. It, it was, that was an upgrade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Like you didn't have to walk. So think about 1918. There's a lot of illness. You know, think about that epidemic in 1918, Spanish flu, mm -hmm. and what that. This is the hospital serving it. Mm -hmm. Because St. Oh, Mary. Oh, and by the way, there was a civil war in the middle there too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and 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 you know, I'll tell you, the civil war hospital, because that's that's a you got to handle some medical issues there. Right. So a lot of that was. Um, you know, people's homes would serve as kind of triage, but the deaf and, what they called then the deaf and dumb asylum, which is where LMU is now, later served the city hall. That was that was a big Civil War hospital. Mm -hmm. So, in the Civil War, it was a lot of they just triage. You know what I mean? But to your point, like if it's let's say it's 1850 and you fall ill, I, you know you're probably. I, I don't dead. have any records. I mean, maybe somebody was taking people in, but yeah, but you were screwed. Yeah, you were definitely screwed. It was yeah. And it was what's showing up on a horse with no air conditioner? And what's the building on, on Kingston Pike just before you get into Sequoia Hills that it was the uh, Confederate hospital? Right, and later. So, do you know the building he's talking about? I, so. I can't remember the name of it. Well, is that the Crescent Bend? No, it's not Crescent it's, Bend. It's on a past Crescent Bend, right? It's Cres Long, uh, Cres uh, Crescent Bend's right. Memorial Hall, which yeah. is Bleak House. That's it. Yeah, Bleak House. That's Bleak House. It's on the river side. Yeah, so that, that a lot, so a lot of big houses like that, substantial houses, because you got to imagine there's not a lot of substantial houses like that mm -hmm. 
I mean, there there are there's but, handfuls. But as you said, that was just temporary. Yeah. Somebody like the, <laughs> like Scarlett O'Hara just opened her house. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. bring them on in. Yeah. I've talked to the lady that kind of helps open that place, and apparently it's still haunted today. I know. I, I want to. I want to. We can, we can do that. Let some, I wish somebody would let us in that was haunted. Oh. <laughs> you going when it's haunted? Hmm? You going when it's haunted? Uh, okay. Rosie's not here. I mean, right. I carry demons around. So, I, I, I do too. But. Fort Sanders <laughs> Hospital. So this is 1902. Let's see which Fort Sanders Hospital is 1920. <laughs> And remember the pandemic was 1918, so I'd say that spurred some interest in hospital. St. Mary's was 1930. Hmm. And that, this, this is to, to tag or to connect to what you guys were saying about big houses. Do you all know the house um, on the corner? It's a big house and it's up on the hill and it's right next to Tyson Junior High School and it's on the corner mm -hmm. of Concord and Kingston Pike. Mm -hmm. Do you know that house? Okay, that was the Howard Henderson Hospital. It was later a motel. First it was somebody's big house, but it was that. It was it was a proper hospital from somewhere around the 1920s to the 1950s. Huh. Victor, I, I think Victor Ash was born in it. <laughs> Victor, he, Victor Henderson Ash makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> And do you know the approximate population of Knoxville and, the, mm. and its environs in, at the turn of the 20th century, 1900, 1902? I have looked that up in the past, and I may be able to Google it shortly, um, or Google it in just a second. But, um, you know, Knoxville had... Um, by the 1920s, I mean, we were still growing, but the growth rate had started to level off a bit by then. I'll, I'll find out that. This is still funny. So I think, I didn't have time to get all of my facts straight, but I think that was the tuberculosis clinic. Mm. But it was part of this complex. And it was out in the country when it was built. So that's the other point. Well, okay. What, when, was this built before that? That's what I, I don't know much about it. I just know I've always been told it's the it was the tuberculosis clinic, hmm. and maybe it was built for that. And I would say maybe a little later, if that's the case. It looks like a little later building to me. Certainly has certainly has been uplifted though, right? Yeah, it's been Price lifted. Yeah. So, so if this was built in 1902, see these houses here? These are all turn of the century houses. I don't see a whole bunch of craftsmen or later. I think. I think that this was built, and then some smaller houses were built around it. I don't think anybody was building their mansion next to the hospital. Mm. Okay, so some laboratory erected September 1911. Okay. 1911, wow, cool. There we go, laboratory. That's what yeah. it says, okay. laboratory. It's kind of cool. And were these huh. factory houses for the... The, the mill was down in the Brookside, there, right? Yeah, okay. And Brookside Mill. Yeah, Brookside Mill. So, you know, the, I, I don't know that these anybody was erecting their mansion adjacent to the hospital intentionally. or but I, And I think a lot of this housing was factory working houses. Yeah, they all, they all kind of look like shotgun houses, right? Yeah. Huh, 1911. That's interesting. When you said it was a tuberculosis sanitarium, I was thinking those were often built out in the country to get away from the stale air of the city. Yeah. And, and I don't know that that was it. I don't even know. I just heard it referred to as a tuberculosis thing. So I just, I don't know, that's horrible or a documented war. <laughs> hmm. But you're definitely showed up here in a horse. <laughs> huh. And what is this? Is this a? Uh... It was for sale for a while. I oh, think okay. it's like that. They turned it. They made it like multifamily. Oh really? Oh really? So it's not. So it's not a county government office building. It was for sale for a while. Huh. I love it. It is a beautiful building. So and then look over here. This is an apartment building from, you know, the 20s, so this is probably where, and we've talked about in local lore before, how, um, how, how, 
concrete block building? The brown building. Oh, across the street. Oh, okay. So we've talked about how density often replaces existing neighborhoods. Like they don't often go out and just build an apartment building out in the middle of a field. It's like houses come first. It, it, they, they get built early on to address density problems. Just like today, but now we have cars to move out in the middle of the field and build a big apartment complex. It's just a different idea. This building here was the Sears department store. The brown one. So a lot of that business for General Hospital went to university. So late 40s department store, the neighborhood starts to change, right? It gets getting more dense out here. Cars get a department store. Did you ever walk in on this side of the old Sears where, where it had all the nuts and the candy shop was right there off this entrance of the... Sarah Central, you went in like on a bottom floor or something. See, I think I'm just cool. young enough to not like my cousins all remember that. They're like, yeah, oh, I yeah, remember. we used to go. I don't I know remember they ever it. took me. I'm, I'm, I'm a few years older, so yeah, I think, but yeah, I remember. Well, but, I'm 23. So. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm 33. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally something like that. Is this one of the uh, new craft breweries or uh, uh, there, Moonshine? This or? is, this is um, just, a, it's like a, there, there used to be a bar and they still be down there on this lot. And this is just like a back building. I don't know. This is the one that had Hops and Holler, right? Yeah. This is the piece of property that Hops and Holler's Hops and closed. Holler is down there. They're closed now, but yeah. yeah. Hops and Holler had a small building in the front and then they had some like games and stuff up here on this, on yeah. this side. Yeah, see, they're closed now, but they had some games up here on the... Oh. But I think these buildings were just used as storage for Hops and Holler, I think. Ah, you must be right, because there's some cars that look like residential parking. Yeah. And we will not <laughs> video the cars of the residents. So what do these apartments go for here? These, couple thousand? The whole building was for sale, and I don't know what... I wonder who did it. I wonder who renovated it. Um, I just noticed it in in MLS a while back. Okay, the corner lounge. I think it's on down. And I think I did. I mean, this place is still the the, the hospital here. I had the um, health department. Yeah. I mean, like you, I think people are still around that remember when this place did a lot more business <laughs> mm -hmm. and vaccinations and right. stuff. You know? Yeah. Where you, you spent, I've spent more time here in, when I was younger, and I think maybe that's true. right. Well, when was uh, that building torn down then? The, the hospital. The old this house. looks like this building looks like the 70s mm -hmm. so i imagine it was there yeah 60s or 70s i mean again you know all, all of this got replaced by um or a lot of this business got uh, taken into university hospital in 56. right so if that building's the 60s it's not i suspect in the 60s and 70s not every doctor had every immunization so that's why everybody had to go to the health department to get their immunizations right I yeah, would assume. I remember going. I was saying, yeah. I mean, I had to. I had to get my immunizations at the health department. But then once my kids were born, I think I think we took our oldest one maybe to the health department once or twice. But then, like every doctor has every immunization now, so yeah, you don't have to go to the health department anymore. Right. But I'm sure my youngest one. I don't think he ever went to the health department for an immunization. I think they've always been at like the doctor's office. I think I. I think I went for when I was. Like, like, you know, the right. ones you get before you go to school. Right. That's the one I had to have, I think. Yeah. So it makes sense because we moved, we moved back to Knoxville in 73. So it was right when I was going back to school. So and it was on a Saturday and they had all the kids lined up outside the street. No, see? 
They didn't have a hospital either in 1948. Oh, wow. If you get a chance to watch a movie called Driftwood. Okay. It's kind of cute. Driftwood, okay. Natalie Wood. Made the same year as uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah. Ah. Is that part of Axel Logistics new building, I think? That, or, or is that? Is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Axel's God. right there. So this is. Oh, like what the crap? Well. That's huge. All Ford concrete. Mm hmm. It's crazy. So Knoxville does still have cranes. Yep. And the local watering hole right there. Yep. The Schultz brow. I always struggle to say Schlitz brow. I know. I don't know why. Must be my East Tennessean. So I guess I've always seen the side of that building, but I never paid attention to what it was because I just always assumed it was part of the health department building. Well, it's it's amazing. Now, thanks to local lore, we now know what it is. The, the hospital's address was Dameron, right? Dameron. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. picture. So this, was, we, this was the back of the hospital. Yeah. And then that building where we parked on, on Ray. Uh huh. That was the African American wing. 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 Annex. Wing. Yeah, yeah. And I've so been. It, it, and it was not attached. To the big building? I think there was, like, if you look at old maps, I think what I saw is like a catwalk. Mm. I'm talking about like a covered. But the, the, the uh, sky bridge in that one photo went, I think to, went to LMU, though, across the Manhattan Street. Yeah. Okay. I think that, you know, I was trying to orient that picture, and I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I think there was, like, if you look at the old maps, I think there was, like, a co covered walkways. Because we're looking at the back of the building. That's the back of it from Cleveland Place and Bernard. Yeah. And that's the back of the health department. And I, I was in that building, in that, and it's like, there's a, it's crazy. Like, in the front of that, what they told me was there's, um... There's the operating room, which has like a built-in cabinet in it, and like, like you can you can like visualize how it's an operating room. But the thing that was shocking to me is like, there's just a regular window. There would be like doing surgery in a living room. Hey. <laughs> and then there's the maternity ward. Oh, and then to the right, there's this building. And when I was in there, they, it's got like a like a brick um like the walls are brick they're they're exposed brick they look like exposed brick they, they seem different huh. and um we were like what is we were talking like what is this room is it an addition because it almost looks like it's an outside bearing wall but it's in line with the footprint the rectangular footprint of the building and i was like it's the morgue probably was <laughs> you know what i mean it had to be some sort of specialty door which like mm -hmm. i don't know wow sometimes i make so that the, so the spirits would <laughs> so the spirits would think they're outside so that they would go ahead and go on up into the heavens right and then you just roll on down the hill back here <laughs> to your ultimate destination <laughs> this is uh, a service block so wow when, when you're in when you're touring a building like that, do, are, are you allowed to take photos or videos or anything? Or I wasn't. Involved? I can ask them. I may ask them if I can do it. Yeah, I, I, I have you know access to the owners because because you're trying to sell the other property. The other pro yeah, the other property is under contract. I did that before Old Knoxville High, uh, before Knox County sold all Old Knoxville High to whoever it was oh, that turned I loved that. that turned it in, and then yeah. I, the only one thing I want to do is go upstairs and take pictures of the indoor firing range so i did it's cool it's on the blog it's on the blog pictures aren't great because i was using an iphone like i am today but and th this this building is still for sale it's no. going to knox county oh okay yeah so to give it's you weird. an idea the um 
Old Gray Cemetery, which we talked about being out in the country, was built in 1850. So it's, you're out. It's on front of this one. Yeah, you're way out in the country. And I think the National Cemetery was World War One ish. Uh, my uncle, my it. uncle that died in World War II is buried in there, but he's on the, he's on the back side. He's on the the side that backs up to, um, Old Gray. I think for some reason 1914 is coming to mind. Probably right. He died in he died in. I'm not gonna say on camera because I'm pretty sure it's in the twenty. I don't remember. Then what what does the county do with this? They just hold on to it. This is this this is news to me as a county employee. This is news to me that, that the county's getting a new building. But hey, generally speaking, is the I mean, just on to no, it I mean, for a dollar, they they'll hold on. Sometimes they hold, they'll hold on to them too long, but they will eventually sell. Like they sold, um, they sold old Knoxville High to a developer that uh, turned it into quote senior living. They've sold the Andrew Johnson building, but uh, uh, BNA, the company that has bought uh, Andrew Johnson building, uh, it presented a plan to do some a boutique hotel and then uh, residences above it, but. I think they've had it about two years and they've done absolutely nothing with it yet. So, well, I've heard about <clears throat> cities like Chicago and Detroit where they have, a, you know, they just, they want to get rid of these properties and have some uh, income right, from, right. from taxes on that, them. So that they was, sell them for a dollar and well, taxes. Or, that was the idea in selling Andrew Johnson building because it had all count, it had the county schools and it had some other county offices in it. And that was the idea was put it back on the tax roll and so they now lease in one half of the tva tower but you know so far the developer hasn't done anything with it uh, -huh. uh now the city has a has a little bit of a different concept from the county and that, that they'll actually like the old the original jennifer the original saint mary's built the original tower at saint mary's the city's got as supposedly put out some type of they, they put out like a development proposal where they ask for proposals and eventually the city is going to let that original building something. do something but oh. somebody has to so with the city you have to present a plan for what you want to do with it before they'll let it go whereas the county just kind of it's kind of like the delinquent tax sale that the county had on delinquent tax properties back four weeks ago the ones that didn't sell the county bought back for the cost of the taxes then they'll eventually put those into a um, surplus property sale and they'll sell it at auction um and i honestly don't know if it's the city or county I just well I, I would assume it's county since the county owns the health department i mean yeah, I don't know. it would make sense to me that it would be county versus city but so so like this is 33 we were talking about the evolution of hospitals Baptist is 1946 and St. Mary's is 1930. And 46 is gone. Yeah, well, Baptist is gone. Yeah, they're Baptist gone. They're river hospital. walk. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of sad. Yeah, but University Hospital is 1956. Hmm. Just in terms of uh, logistics, this is a um, fur piece from the <laughs> UT Medical Center now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's across the river. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this, this. I, you know, I think, you know, the building obviously has been replaced by something from, you know, it looks like the 60s or 70s to me. But, you know, I think, I think the health department kept it busier. That's what we were saying for a while. But I don't know that, like, I don't know that kids today, what Brian was saying, mm -hmm. come down here and line up for your... No. <laughs> My youngest one never came down here for immunizations. My oldest one might have came from one or two and he'll... He'll be 34 in October, so. My mom remembers coming here to the hospital. And oh, great! That means I'm, that means me and your mom are about so much. 50s. 51. So I mean, she remembers coming here to the hospital. So mm. six. I mean, she would have been five or six, and I imagine that it hung on for a little while as a hospital. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know that it like shut down the, the day of. I just took a close picture of that. I'm trying to figure out is is that a is that a Christmas tree for for Christmas in the city, or is that uh, tell a, is that like a, uh, like a cell phone tower? I mean, it looks like a Christmas tree, but um, it could also be uh, 
telecommunications too. And it's up here on the hill. And it's up on a hill on top of a building. Yeah. So who knows? So Brookside, you know, a lot of these houses. Brookside's are, right, right over there, right? Yeah. Brookside and, Mills. Yeah, but you can see there's lots right. of industrial mm -hmm. down here historically. So I think this side of the neighborhood, I mean, that side of the neighborhood is Old North Knoxville. You'll mm -hmm. see there's some pretty fancy houses, but I think on this low side, you're around the hospital and the industrial. I think it's more akin to what you see. And when we did a walk over there, Clarence Brown was... No, 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 that was, oh. I did that. I, I don't know why I was saying Clarence Brown. Remember we had that conversation? Oh, okay. It was... Uh, no, it was... I'm getting confused again. I, I was saying, I was transferring Alex Haley and Clarence Brown. Oh. Somebody was up there. <laughs> yeah, Clarence Brown's theater's in Knoxville, so that makes sense. I think it's Clarence Brown right here. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Somebody important. Somebody of historical means. So, I kind of like these local lures that are just like commercial ones. Like, the residential ones are interesting because we go to different places, but the, like, topic ones like hospitals mm -hmm. are kind of interesting you know well we have a little bit of residential because obviously that laboratory has been turned into residential now yeah right and this building does it have really high ceilings like 10 15 feet very or? high yeah yeah wow. yeah i mean it's an experience for somebody who's always been in modern hospitals you know like I've, i don't have any experience with like like I've always been like it, it was like I'm young enough to be shocked <laughs> and you probably well for health health care a person your age didn't visit doctors that didn't have air conditioning mm. no I never knew a doctor without air conditioner I mean I went to the suburban you know there's a pediatrician that's been in Fort Sanders right there around Fort Sanders at Christenberry yeah, Dr. Right. Christenberry. Yeah, so I went to like that that idea that doctors would locate in offices around a hospital is probably not that that might be more of a suburban kind of ideal, like in parking lots and stuff, because my doctor was probably built in the sixties or the seventies. Yeah. It was new. But if the medical arts building up you know next to the post mm -hmm. office downtown, there's mm -hmm. a building called the Medical yeah. Arts Building and that was that building was built for doctors' offices right. in the twenties. So, you know, I think, I don't know when the idea of, like, getting next to the hospital was. Hmm. But. Yeah, because the doctor, we, I mean, I remember going to, so there was at least two Dr. Christenberries, because I went to one that was an ear, nose, and throat there in Fort Sanders when I was a kid after a camping trip. But our, what would be considered primary care was in a shopping center in Four Way Inn back in the 70s, so. So, I mean, so you had one that was out in the country then, but. Yeah. Well, you've talked about this before as, as Knoxville became more suburbanized and you know, the whole concept of the mall and getting away mm -hmm. from the city. Why, why, why wouldn't you put the right. doctor's office next to a hardware the store in the mall? Right, right. 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 You're already cool. there. Yeah. There's plenty of parking. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of dentists are doing it now. So there's not, I mean, if you came here in the 50s, you had a car. Right. And I would say the parking situation was a bit intense. You know what I mean? Because this wasn't built for parking. It was built for walking an animal, really. It's funny they got an entire parking lot completely fenced in. Yeah, I don't know what was here. Well, I guess there's a gate up there. When, when you talk about the map, uh, you say when you see this on the map, is this the fire Yeah, the fire map. Map. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I um, was going to print the fire map this morning, but I was so overdue on my library books that they blocked. Really? <laughs> Oops. Yes, I'm taking my jacket off. That's why my video is messing up right now. Going. Yeah, well, I'm sweating and now it's starting to rain, so we gotta gotta take the coat off. All so right. our next one, let's see, our next official one. I don't have any more pop-ups. September. Is September. 
Yeah, right. It's cooler today. It's east. It's, nice today. it's east Tennessee. You know, it'll either be really hot or really cold. Yeah, so it's September. So it's Jones Air's edition. That's in South Knoxville. Oh, cool. What yeah, day? We have Vestal in Burlington and Fountain City and Speedway Circle. And oh, I wanted to point out we have Lakeshore Park in October. Oh, cool. October twenty seventh is Lakeshore Park, and that's another hospital. Yep. Yeah. You know? Will it be completely renovated by then? No. Yeah, I think so. It was Eastern State, right, when it was yeah, first open? And then our Christmas one this year is West Tom Hall. So we can see Santa. Yeah, yeah. we're going to walk around West Tom Hall because it's... Rusty can play Santa. I am as old as West Tom Hall.